What's up guys, we're back again today with another great video. In today's video, we're actually gonna be going over the new Ego uh, leaf blower. They've actually been making these for a couple years now, um, but this is the newest one that's came out because it's the 615. Um, they actually have a 650 and that was the original one I was gonna buy, um, but the price difference on these two, it was like $100 and it's really not that much different CFM and it still has the same amount of mile per hour. But we'll go over that in a minute. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into the video. All right, guys. So like I said before, this is the newest Ego leaf blower. Um, one thing originally what I was going to do, because, you know, I'm big into detail and have tons of detail and stuff in here. And if you watch the card channel, I do things, uh, you know, detail and different things like that on there. Um, and I was going to actually buy the 650 for, you know, blowing off the car, different things like that. Um, and then also use around the house. Um, but then when I went to buy this one, once we got our house and everything, I got to look and I was like, hmm, they make a 615 now. Um, you know, they say that this one does, I think, 170 mile per hour. And I think the 650, if I'm not mistaken, is like 180 mile per hour. So there's only a 10 mile an hour difference, I believe, or maybe they do the same. I'm not 100% sure on the mile per hour. Um, but one thing that's really cool is this is like 219, I think, or 229, or right around there, um, depending on the time of the year you buy it and different things. Um, and then the other one normally is right at $300. It's like $299.99 uh, for the $650. So I'm like, with that being not that big of a difference, I'm going to go ahead and try their newer one um, that's just a little bit smaller for basically, I mean, pretty much $80 off. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and we'll get into it. So this does have, the reason why it's called the 615 is because it has a 615 CFM. Um, here's actually the part number on it right here. If you guys are wanting to look for it. Um, I did actually have to order this from uh, Ace. They didn't have any of these in the store. They carry a bunch of like the 530s and the smaller ones. Um, you guys might be able to find them in your stores, but I wasn't able to. Um, one thing that's really good about Ego, um, you know, they're pretty much the top of the line when it comes to anything um, electric when you're going um, with electric lawn care, different things like that. Um, they do have a five-year warranty on the tool itself, and then they have a three-year warranty on the battery, and we'll actually flip it over, and I'll show you the specs on that. Um, so right here, I have to flip it back down so the light's not messing it up. So as you guys can see, you got a three-year warranty on your batteries, five-year warranty on the tool, like I was saying before. Um, they do have the lithium-ion batteries in them. And um, one thing that's really cool is they do have this power button on the back so you can hit it and then it shows you, you know, how much battery life you have left. Um, I did also buy the multi-tool from them, um, but there's plenty of videos on that. So if you guys want to check out somebody else's channel for the multi-tool, you could do that. Um, now with this one, one thing I will say, um, it only comes with a 2.5 uh, amp hour battery um, where the 650 comes with uh, the 5.0 amp hour battery, I believe, but where I bought this and the multi-tool, the multi-tool comes with a 5.0 amp hour battery. So that kind of cuts down on some of the cost. Um, cause you know, you're kind of getting a smaller battery, but, um, the reason why I didn't really care about that is my fiance wants to use it. That'll make it a little bit less heavy because the five amp hour batteries are a lot thicker and, you know, obviously a little bit more heavy. Um, so if you guys know anything about Ego products, um, one thing that's really cool about them is they have the turbo button up here, which will get you up to that 615 CFM when you hit that turbo boost button. Um, really cool for like, you know, if your leaves are stuck to the ground or wet, um, you know, that button will help you kind of get them out of the, you know, out of that stuck down matted area. Um, another thing that's really cool is they do have a variable speed control right here on the side. Um, we'll take it out of the box in a minute and check out all that. Um, but you can just, without hitting the trigger, you can just turn that variable speed up and down and it'll keep the leaf blower blowing, which is really cool. And then you can kind of dial in your speed, you know, if you're wanting to blow stuff out of your mulch, you can dial in that perfect speed to blow the leaves out, but not blow your mulch out. Um, so that's really cool. Also, one thing that's, that comes with this one is it does come with a tapered end as well as, you know, just the big opened end. Um, but Ego so far, 
with the multi-tool i'm really happy with it i've used it um, three times already this year with weed eating and also edging and it does a great job so let's go ahead and we'll get this out of the box and see how it is all right so i just opened up the top you guys are seeing it for the first time just like i am um, so of course you've got your manual here user manual and then here is you know your attachment and then let's see here here is the motor you can kind of see how big it is with it in my hand that kind of gives you a you know size comparison and then here is the battery and this one i actually bought the one that has the charger as well um, just so i would have an extra charger uh, i could have just bought the tool but honestly it's really not that much more and then you can get an extra battery the batteries by themselves are pretty expensive um, that's one downside but one good thing is where they give you that three-year warranty um, you know with if the battery goes bad within the three years or loses charge they'll replace it but anyway so here is what i was talking about so you can push that in and as you can see this one's not charged up obviously it's been in the box um, but that kind of shows you your power so there is the battery so there is the 2.5 and here is the 5. so there's kind of your difference right there in size and the weight let's see here yeah probably about honestly it's about half the weight so one good thing about that is if you have you know like your fiance or a female that doesn't want to buy this product um, you know, these smaller batteries do come in handy, but when you're wanting to do the bigger jobs, you definitely will want this. I'm able to weed eat. Um, we have uh, 0.5 acres around it, and uh, I'm able to weed eat everything that we have. We've got a bunch of trees and, of course, around the house, and I'm able to edge our driveway and everything with this one battery without it dying. So it's really nice to have this one so I don't have to go swap them in and out. But this one will be great for to have for the leaf blower. So let's go ahead and as you guys can see, here is the blower nozzle right here. And then here is the extra end piece that kind of tapers it down or you can just pop this off. And then you guys can see it's just, you know, a normal opening. Um, I'm hoping that they'll actually start making more different style openings for them. Like maybe one that's kind of like crushed down like this, almost like an oval. Uh, that would be nicer for, you know, blowing off my car and different things like that. Have a little bit more, you know, tapered down just to get more air flow. Um, but here is the charger that you're going to get with this. And this is just the normal charger. They are pretty big um, and they're kind of loud too. This is the same charger that came with my multi-tool. Um, so this will be nice to have, you know, I can charge both of them at the same time, or let's say one of the chargers messes up, I'll have a backup um, that can charge both batteries. And they do charge pretty fast. I'm not really sure about the charge time on it. I'm sure you can look that up on their website. Um, their website is really good. Any Anything that you guys need, if you wanna look at the other uh, leaf blowers, different things like that, compare them. Their website is very good about, you know, showing all their stuff. Um, so now let's get to the main part, which is the motor itself. As you guys can see, here is what it looks like. So as you guys can see, here is the variable speed that I was talking about. Um, you know, so you can kind of dial in what speed you want it to blow out, and then you don't actually have to pull the trigger while that's on. Or you can keep that off and you can just kind of control the speed yourself by the trigger. And then, of course, you've got the turbo mode, which will get you up to that full 615 CFM, um, which is really nice. So on this one, they also make, like right here, it's got this, you know, little strap attachment. It does not come with a strap. I believe for how much you pay for this stuff, they probably should start giving you a strap. I mean, even some of the cheaper gas powered stuff comes, you know, with like the cheaper shoulder straps and things like that. Um, I don't think their shoulder straps are that much, but it would be nice just to have it, um, you know, on this, if you're doing like a lot of leaf blowing or um, for my circumstance, I would rather have it for the multi-tool. I wish it would have came with that. Um, just to kind of leave just a little bit of the, you know, weight off your shoulders and stuff. 
as you're going around and doing a lot of weed eating and you know the edging um, this is a brushless motor of course um, and you guys can kind of see down in it right here so it's pretty much you can see straight through it and it's got that fan in the dead center now this they're claiming that you can leaf blow up to 75 minutes with the smaller battery um, I would be interested to see how long it could go with the bigger battery probably go a very long time as you guys can see right there there's where it says 75 minutes but anyway so this product is pretty nice seems very well built um, all the knobs and stuff seem you know they're not cheap um, you know some stuff that you pick up seems really cheap this seems pretty heavy duty um, it's got a lot of weight to it for sure uh, I'm sure once you put the battery in it seems very top heavy right now but once you slide that battery in the back, it'll probably feel, you know, a lot better. So let's go ahead and I'll put the GoPro on my head and we'll go outside and uh, where I edged up a little bit earlier and then we got some lease left over. Um, I'll kind of blow all that stuff out and kind of show you guys how it works. Alright guys, so I hope that that kind of showed you what this was capable of doing. Um, obviously, I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm going to give you my full thoughts here. Um, we actually have a really nice gas-powered one, or my parents did, and um, it was, you know, it done a really good job, but this right here, when you hit that turbo button, it does 10 times better than that gas-powered one does. I'll tell you that. Now, when you're just holding the trigger normally, it does pretty good. Um, you know, I mean, it was clearing everything out, but if you really want to just clear stuff out really quick, just hit that turbo button and just let it rip. I mean, the turbo button really helped a lot um, to impress me on this product. If it was just that trigger, I would still think it was a good product, but, you know, I would be like, well, I wish it had a little bit more. But if you guys have used like other electric leaf blowers or anything like that, like the ones you plug in and stuff, this thing kicks any of those butt that I've ever used. So, Pretty good product um, with all the warranty and everything like that. Um, we'll see how it holds up because obviously I just unboxed it. Um, so I'll do an update on it, you know, here in like a month or two. Let you guys know how it's holding up. Is the batteries holding up? Are they losing power? So make sure you hit that subscribe button now so that way you guys can see that. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, we are going to do, you know, some more lawn care stuff. Obviously, I'm going to get a lot more different things like that that I need now that we have a house. Um, and we'll be doing some like home improvement things, different things like that, also with the car stuff. Um, so please stick around. And if this is your forte, I'm definitely going to be doing more things like this coming up. Um, so please hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment if you have any comments or if you guys actually have one of these and there's something that I didn't say that you guys want to say, put it in the comments because it'll help everybody else out. But anyway, guys, peace out and remember, build your masterpiece.